Hi there, folks. Uh, this is a really sort of quick and brisk run through a max patch which I've created, uh, which is in essence a noise generator. It's a little unique, I suppose, in the respect that the uh, noise that I'm using in each of these four modules is derived from cassette tape hiss. Uh, it's from a blank cassette played back on an old Tascam 424 Porter Studio, which I've had in my possession for about 20 odd years. Let me go through one of these modules and show you what's going on. So, you can see here that we've got the tape hiss recording, which has been put in the playlist object going into a biquad filter. Uh, you can see that the filter is currently set to bandpass and that it's sweeping back and forth through a frequency range from 150 hertz to 800. Uh, this, is, this varies from module to module to create a little more variation in the overall noise texture. So you can see that the second module uh, ranges between 500 to 900 hertz. Uh, I'm controlling this sweep back and forth using a cycle object um, set at a very low rate. Actually, ignore that bit. The cycle rate is here. And I'm just creating a little bit of variation in the rate by setting up a counter that counts back and forth between 1 and 4 as a palindrome. It's counting every 3 seconds. So it will very marginally speed up and slow down as it continues its sweep. There's a similar deal going on <clears throat> with the amplitude rate here, uh, another cycle object, and then this little sub-patcher, this, this sets a range for the rate of amplitude at any given point in time. So um, the range is in um, the upper, uh, upper area of amplitude, and it's gradually going back down. Actually, it's quite wide here at the moment. So the amplitude could sweep anywhere between, let's say at this point in time, uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 and so forth. Um, so that's that there. And then the last aspect of the patch is the panning rate for each of the modules, um, or the panning position, I should say. As you can see, much like uh, the frequency rate and the amplitude rate, they're all kind of swinging back and forth at different rates. And again, much like um, that amplitude subpatcher that I showed you beforehand, um, yeah, I've just set up a bunch of cycle objects to create um, a continuous swinging back and forth, but with um, the addition in this particular case of a, a modulation rate. So it's a little more wobbly. It's, it's nowhere as consistent as the frequency or amplitude rate. And then much like the amplitude subpatcher, um, there's this thing I've called range flux, which um, just creates a constantly shifting uh, range for the panning. So you can see here, it's quite tight, moving towards a center position, drifting towards the left. So it's going to swing back and forth that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah. That's basically it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just crank the volume a bit and we can hear it doing its thing. Yeah, there you go. Um, I've got a recording of of this up on my SoundCloud channel. Um, it was a submission for the Disquiet Junto weekly challenge, um, which I've been recently participating in. I'll include a link to that SoundCloud file um, in the description of this video. So if you're keen to check it out, um, go ahead. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna try and do a few more of these Max MSP uh, breakdowns of patches I've created. So um, yeah, hopefully um, some more coming up in the future. Thanks again for watching. See ya.